Now I made a whole row, series of, see over there, there's uh, those three Chevrolet A bodies. This is the Pontiac version of the same car. This would be a Le Mans GTO. So, it's unrestored. Digital paint work. Well, under here is restored. All of this sheet metal has been treated well, or painted, because the sticker there is an OEM cracking sticker. But everything else in there looks clean. You know, it's probably, I don't know, I would like to say a 428, but probably not. Could be a 326 or a 389. But, uh, this was a Pontiac equivalent of what the A-body intermediate coupe would have been. So, in your neck of the woods, it's got a GTO badge. It's got the final roof. Transmission. Let's see. What you get is instrument tack and fuel and oil pressure. Uh, that's an aftermarket radio, but it looks OEM. good it's a 20 footer you know from the other side of the parking lot this paintwork looks great and see it's got the flying buttress style rear window buttresses still have the same air vent rear ventilation rear defrost Crack paint on the trunk lid and on the quarter panels. Well, these tail lights, these tail light panel was shared with uh, another car. I think the Grand Prix or the Bonneville or uh, maybe the Base Le Mans. But this tail light was a theme they were going with back then. I can't get in the, on this side to give you a close up. Because this right here, this is a Ford T bucket. That's in the way. This is a Model T. So, I believe this is a 1923. But uh, this here. Should be the same as uh, I'm going to say 67. It's probably 68. Yeah, but, um, back oh, it uh, doesn't have a sticker on it, so you know. The engine, yeah, the engine is new. It's been, re yes. it's been painted, but also looks new. It's also manifold battery. So everything in here has been uh, updated and refurbished. So.